This is a Penrose triangle and this is a Penrose staircase. They both share one thing in common. They're impossible. So let's 3D print them. For the last week or so, curiosity has led me to these fascinating designs. Both designs originated from Sir Roger Penrose and his father, Lionel Penrose. Roger Penrose first became interested in these designs when he saw the early work of artist M.C. Escher, particularly this piece called Relativity. You can see that locally, this image is made up of perfectly familiar things such as staircases and doorways. But when you look at it as a whole, it kind of makes your head hurt. Being mathematicians, Sir Roger Penrose and his father became obsessed with this seemingly impossible geometry, later leading them to publish some of their own work in the British Journal of Psychology. They illustrated two designs, both of which they described as impossibility in its purest form. Impossible in the sense that these objects can only exist as a perspective drawing and not as a physical object in three-dimensional Euclidean space. So that got me thinking, can I reproduce these impossible objects in Fusion 360? And just how close can we actually get to realizing these objects in three-dimensional space? Given that they are indeed impossible, we'll need to use a few tricks. The Penrose Triangle appears to be a solid object consisting of three straight beams all of which have a square cross section that all connect up at right angles. I was actually able to recreate this Penrose triangle in Fusion 360, and the more you look at it, the more it makes you question everything you know. While this object is of course physically impossible, the desired effect can still be achieved using three-dimensional objects in the form of an illusion. I decided to 3D print this model, and even in the real world, it still looks fairly convincing. It is, however, just an illusion. Being dissatisfied by the illusion of a 3D object that looks nothing like the original Penrose triangle, I decided to play around with some other designs. While this design does not satisfy all the rules of a true Penrose triangle, I think this is the closest we can possibly get to a real, fully connected object that does still resemble the original Penrose triangle. It also just makes for a very satisfying and good looking 3D print. The Penrose staircase also appears to be a solid object, creating the illusion of an infinite staircase. I was also able to recreate this in Fusion 360 and achieve the desired effect. Although translating Penrose's original design into a 3D printed illusion did prove to be a little more difficult. Naturally, due to perspective, the front steps appear larger than the rear steps, making this a little less convincing in the real world. In order to help achieve this illusion with a 3D printed object, I modified Penrose's original design in such a way that perspective doesn't have such an impact. I then 3D printed it, and as you can see, it's still a pretty convincing illusion, making it another fun 3D print. Coming full circle, Escher discovered Penrose's designs and incorporated them into another drawing called Ascending and Descending, which he gave to Roger Penrose as a gift. While Penrose's objects are truly impossible, for me, these come with a deeper meaning and a friendly reminder that nothing is ever quite as it seems and that you should always question everything. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.